95 years on the planet Earth, Nelson Mandela's left his body. And what he did in those 95 years will remain as long as there's people here to remember. There was a system that took advantage of people that was wrong. And he had an idea that humanity could all get along and everyone could live in peace and people could help people and not hurt people. And that thought stayed with him and he fought a system that didn't like that idea, put him in jail for 27 years. And even though they had his body contained, they couldn't contain his idea. They couldn't contain the spirit of the idea. And they couldn't contain one man's projection of freedom and harmony for people. In the prison, there was a time where they were able to get a smuggled copy of Shakespeare, the collected works of Shakespeare. And the prisoners would sign their name next to a quote that meant something to them and help them keep their light in the dark days of the struggle. And on the 16th of December, 1979, Nelson Mandela signed his name next to this quote. December 16th, 1994, would become known in South Africa as Reconciliation Day the day that celebrated the end of unjust systems. And the quote from Julius Caesar that Mandela signed his name next to was, cowards die many times before their deaths. The valiant never taste of death but once. Of all the wonders I have yet heard, it seems to me most strange that men should fear, seeing that death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. And Mandela has died, but who he was and who he will remain in the consciousness of humanity will never die. It's the thought, it's the spirit, that every human being can help every other human being, and no human being needs to profit the expense of another human being, and that freedom, harmony, and peace on the planet Earth can always be present if we have the strength, if we have the courage, and we have the commitment to that ideal. So in our yoga tradition, we help the soul when it's left the body, and we chant a call. So please inhale deeply. Oh, cool.